Breaking this evening, a second employee is now facing charges after an attack at a McDonald's in downtown Pittsburgh. 18 year old Kanaya Martin was charged today with one count of simple assault. Also, a man who was inside that restaurant is now talking about what happened. He is the cousin of the other McDonald's worker who is facing charges. Jennifer Barrasso is live this evening with his side of the story. Jennifer? That's right, Stacy. Police charged Renice Davis, the McDonald's worker here, with aggravated assault on Tuesday. But new tonight, we talked to Davis's cousin who says she was just trying to protect herself. My cousin never hit him. She pushed him because he put his hands on a female's neck. And that's what's only right. King Jackson defending his cousin, Ronice Davis, who is charged in a violent attack against Mark Kahn and his girlfriend, Billy Joe Goldworthy. As I'm walking out, as soon as I get to the window, the lady sticking her middle finger up said, F you, the N word. Today, charges were filed against a second McDonald's employee, Kanaya Martin. According to that criminal complaint, Martin told the McDonald's general manager what led up to the attack, which left 62 year old Mark Kahn paralyzed and in the hospital. Martin claims things got physical, first with Kahn's girlfriend, then Kahn himself. Quote, she pushed me twice, so yes, I punch her back. Her boyfriend hit me, so I punch him too. I even told them to leave before they. Investigators say that's when Martin and Davis got between the two. Things quickly escalated, spilling outside of the restaurant. The video shows Davis punching Khan, who falls face first to the ground, unconscious and paralyzed. Holdsworthy was pepper sprayed. Billy Joe, she just kept trying to come back at McDonald's, and my cousin kept, kept telling her, no, 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 no. And it, it just was that. They just kept trying to force their way back in, and she wasn't with it. Hospital spokesperson tells us that Mark Kahn is still in critical condition tonight. And earlier today, we talked to Mark Kahn's cousin, and he said that she said that the family is distraught and that doctors told them it could take time for him to regain all of his feeling. It's a long road ahead. And an aunt of Mark Kahn told us that the couple was headed to the Greyhound bus station to, to go to Montana to visit. Mark's dad. Reporting live in Pittsburgh, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.